Hi, I'm Donald with Steambrite Supply, and today we're going to do a little follow-up video on our Zencar 32 amp adjustable charger. Now these are level two chargers that use the NEMA 14-50 P plug, and you need to have your NEMA 14-50 receptacle. Now here we have our temporary power box set up, and we know we've got the right voltage because we got the momentary switch confirming that. So I'll go ahead and plug it in, and what I wanted to do was make a uh, follow-up video. This has a couple of upgrades uh, over the previous model that we had last year. To begin with, the power cord is UO listed, so that's different. And the previous model, you would make a change on the charging speed with a key fob. Now the key fobs look a little different, and you can still do that. So I'll show you how that's simulated. You want to just hold it over this point here, and you want to hold it till it makes the change. So you see when I actually held it on there, and it changed from 32 amps to 10 amps, and you can see the rating right here where it says 10, and I'm going to hold it on there again, and you'll see that it changed to 16, and hold it again, it goes to 20, 24, and the last one will be 32. And it takes, I guess, like a half a second of leaving it there before it'll make the change. Now in the event that you lose the key fob, you don't have this anymore, and you need to change it, the difference of the upgrade is now you can actually just use your finger. And that's done with two taps. So if I tap it twice, you'll actually, I probably didn't hold it down long enough. There we go, it changed to 16, and I tap it again, it went to 20 here. Tap it twice, it goes to 24. Tap it again, it goes to 32. And again, if I want to cycle back down again, it goes to 10. And I think you get the point. So before it used to be like you'd have to grab the box and shake it, and you'll see me doing that on the uh, the video. I'd grab the box and shake it, and it would, it would change the amp draw setting. Well, you don't have to do that anymore. So if you want to permanently mount uh, the, the unit on the wall, you can do that. It's got mounting tabs here. And then you can uh, allow to just either use your key fob on your key ring. Some people have also been uh, securing these here. That way if they want to change it, they just bring the, the charger part over to it. That way they don't have to carry it in their pocket. That would be another way of doing it or maybe setting up a zip tie nearby where you can have it on the, on the cord. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you that these are some of the changes for this year's model. And thanks for watching.